Yep, if I might uh, get a point of clarification here. I, I think I heard you say that the uh, early intelligence before the explosion pointed specifically to this gate, the Abbey Gate, as the place of vulnerability where the explo where an, an attack was likely to take place. Did I hear you correctly? Yes, and in fact, they told all Americans who had been gathering around that gate, the way that it had been working, Tyler, is they would open one gate at a time to sort mm -hmm. of... Uh, control the flow, and they had gotten this actionable intelligence uh, about three days ago that ISIS K and some of the prisoners who had gotten out of prison had been planning this attack. They have shown a capability to organize such attack in the past, and they, the U.S. Embassy warned Americans get away. It's our understanding from our reporters who were on the ground, though our reporters have left because of this attack. Richard Engel just arrived in Doha, Qatar, in the last couple of hours. But the latest reporting was that Americans had left that area, but it really was clear to us that the Afghans don't really have a way to know about this. And further, those who might be wanted, wanting to escape, who had worked with the Americans in the past, would be targets of the Taliban and really had nowhere to go. So you either take a chance of leaving, running across a Taliban checkpoint and potentially being killed or taken hostage, or you wait there and hope for a plane. Now, in the middle of all that, a terror attack has happened, at least 60 in hospitals, at least 13 people killed, according to NBC News sources. And we're in a predicament that two weeks ago would have been completely unimaginable. Tyler, think of it. The United States government is now relying on a terrorist organization, though not labeled that officially by the United States, in the Taliban to provide security against another terrorist organization, the ISIS-K, with which Taliban is at war in the eastern part of the country that it now rules. Uh, and, and there we are, largely, I mean, you can defend the airport itself. The United States has a military capability to do that. But it does not have forward operating capacity. Those people were evacuated. Yeah, and as we look at some of the video there, we're going to uh, wrap it here, uh, Shep, and you'll keep us uh, posted. You see American troops uh, providing security, presumably within the perimeter right. of the uh, of the airport. You do not see Taliban. Uh, and uh, the question, I guess, will become, and you'll certainly cover tonight on the news: uh, Do the Taliban own this? Do they own this? Uh, there this is no question. The Taliban owned this because that was the agreement with the United States government. It is written in, in ink. You have to provide security. This has to be safe for our evacuation. And if you do, we will get out by August the 31st. Now that's broken. What that means diplomatically and for a path forward, we don't know yet. Hopefully we All will right. soon. Shep, thank you so much for that very uh, comprehensive report. We'll be back with you uh, as news warrants.